Boy Gavnas, it's Killian here. And I'm Zero Fox Given. And in today's episode of Dormant Talk, we continue on with some more short stories of horror that are better than any movie you've seen. Hate it when my brother Charlie has to go away by horror in pure form. <clears throat> I hate it when my brother Charlie has to go away. My parents constantly try to explain to me how sick he is, that I am lucky for having a brain where all the chemicals flow properly to their destinations like undammed rivers. When I complain about how bored I am without a little brother to play with, they try to make me feel bad by pointing out that his boredom likely far surpasses mine, considering his confined to a dark room in an institution. I always beg for them to give him one last chance. Of course, they did at first. Charlie has been back home several times, each shorter in duration than the last. Every time without fail, it all starts again. The neighborhood cats with gouged out eyes showing up in his toy chest. My dad's razors found dropped on the baby slide in the park across the street. Mom's vitamins replaced by bits of dishwasher tablets. My parents are hesitant now, using last chances sparingly. They say his disorder makes him charming makes it easy for him to fake normalcy and to trick the doctors who care for him into thinking he is ready for rehabilitation. That I will just have to put up with my boredom if it means staying safe from him. I hate it when Charlie has to go away. It makes me have to pretend to be good until he's back. Dude, yeah, I, I didn't think that he was going to be the one doing the bad things. I thought his brother was going to be like a legit psycho narcissist that like is compartmentalized and comes for him in the end i mean there's a plethora of different things that could have happened for a second there i thought maybe the parents were in on it could be well i mean obviously it's not but it could have been it could have been that it very well could have been i like that. that's probably about the best one so far what which one is the best one? this one? Oh, yeah absolutely i mean the, the pure craftsmanship of the story is just unrivaled by anything else we've read so far. The, the tension builds before you know it. A shocking exposition. Nice it, little bait and switch. A nice little bait and switch. Hell by Mean Pete. There was no pearly gate. The only reason I knew I was in a cave was because I had just passed the entrance. The rock wall rose behind me with no ceiling in sight. I knew this was it. This was what religion talked about, what man feared. I had just entered the gate to hell. I felt the presence of the cave as if it was a living, breathing creature. The stench of rotten flesh overwhelmed me. Then there was the voice. It came from inside and all around. Welcome. Who are you? I asked, trying to keep my composure. You don't know. The thing answered, and I did know. You're the devil, I stuttered, quickly losing my composure. Why me? I've lived as good as I could. The silence took over the space as my words died out. It seemed like an hour went by before the response came. What did you expect? The voice was penetrating, but patient. I don't know. I never believed any of this, I uttered. Is that why I'm here? Silence. I continued. They say the greatest trick you ever pulled was convincing the world you don't exist. No. The greatest trick I ever pulled was convincing the world there was an alternative. There is no God? I shivered. The cave trembled with the words. I am God. yeah thoughts <laughs> i don't know what to think it is certainly a very provocative story um to to play with the the names specifically and give you know what's what is called god what we tend to know as devil like qualities is very interesting take on the whole thing kind of like the idea of the balance you know good and evil not really one side being both but then you got that moral gray area so i love how he says um when he asked a question and there was a silence what did he say it seemed like an hour went by before the response came starting to 
paint the picture of eternity, you know, which is pretty gnarly. They got the definition wrong by Lloyd Lugan. It has been said the definition of insanity is doing the same thing over and over and expecting different results. I understand the sentiment, but it's wrong. I entered the building on a bed. I was strapped for cash and didn't buy into the old legends of the hotel to begin with, so 50 bucks was more than enough to get me to do it. It was simple. Just reach the top floor, the 45th floor, and shine my flashlight from a window. The hotel was old and broken, including the elevator, so that meant hiking up the stairs. So up the stairs I went. And as I reached each platform, I noted the old brass plaques displaying the floor numbers. 15, 16, 17, 18. I felt a little tired as I crept higher, but so far, no ghosts, no cannibals, no demons piece of cake. I can't tell you how happy I was as I entered that last stretch of numbers. I joyfully counted them out loud at each platform. 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 44. I stopped and looked back down the stairs. I must have miscounted. So I continued up. 44, one more flight, 44, and then down 10 flights, 44, 15 flights, 44. And so it's been for as long as I can remember. So really, insanity isn't doing something repeatedly and expecting different results. It's knowing the results will never, ever change. That each door leads to the same staircase, to the same number. It's realizing you no longer fall asleep. It's not knowing whether you've been running for days or weeks or years. It's when the sobbing slowly turns into laughter. <laughs> wow. And you know that one hits home just because of the amount of time you and I spend in a staircase on our day to day. I know. Oh. A fun trivia fact for anybody watching this, um, if you look on screen and in the thumbnail as well, I actually kind of use the picture of the staircase that we climb daily. There's uh, nine flights of stairs up there. Um, credit to our friend Andrew who decided to take the picture for us because it did not feel like putting on a suit to take a picture. But yeah, um, yeah, this one really hit me hard. And actually, when I was doing the initial recording for this one, I was in the stairwell <laughs> reading this. I, I didn't realize that's what it was about when I started the recording. And I just kind of laughed because I was on the ninth floor when I did this. Wow. <laughs> yeah, I might be taking the elevator for the next couple of days to be quite honest with you because that staircase, it'll never be the same, that's for sure. Yeah, no, nah, I'll take them. I took them today, I'll take them tomorrow. Uh, I will take the staircase. I, I'll do it for personal reasons, but yeah, no, I, I get it. <laughs> but just try imagining being the one reading this story while you're in the staircase. <laughs> Fear. Sheer terror is what I would experience. I laughed it off. Maybe I'm the one going insane. Maybe you are. So actually, uh, while we're talking about the staircase in the ninth floor, um, well, we're not telling you buildings, people that know who we are, know exactly what we're talking about, but on the ninth floor, it is kind of creepy. So I've been up there a few times when I've had the master keys to check it out. The reason why the ninth floor is creepy is I don't know if you guys noticed, but when you go outside the building, if you look up, I swear to God, sometimes I see like if somebody's up there and it trips me out because I can never figure out how somebody is even up there because I don't know where the other staircase that leads to the ninth floor is. I'm not saying it's a ghost. I'm just saying the fact that like on our building right there, there's one door to the ninth floor that I know that I've been able to access and go in there. When you go in there, it's a dark control unit. So the fact that I even see a shadow trips me out because the whole area is dark. But I don't know, have you guys had any weird experiences on the ninth floor? And on the side note, um, Andrew, who took the photo for us, joined us for this commentary right now. He's over here sitting in the back because uh, we're here at said building that we're talking about. So um, 
Have you ever seen anything weird in there on any of the floors? Hello guys. I'd have to say that I've definitely had multiple occurrences on the fourth where uh, I, I definitely know that's where one of the murders that have happened in this building happened was on the fourth towards the west. Not many people listening know about that. Um, I don't feel like we're at liberty to say what building we're at or anything yet. Um, I'll find out more later. Um, however, yeah, definitely. I, I'd be down to like, you know, dive into like the stories of that. So yeah, right now we, we're reading fantasies, but later on down the line in the channel as it grows, um, we're definitely gonna dive into different stuff. Um, one Some of our next videos. Crime. Yeah, one of our next videos is gonna be on conspiracy theories. You just have to wait to see how that goes. Um, but definitely. Uh, <laughs> Um, some, uh, you know, some true crimes, some different things. We're not, we're not trying to limit ourselves to just horror, just more like, you know, things that interest us. If you look in the bio on our page, I actually put things that we like to talk about. Mm, yeah. Yeah, just because I don't, I don't want to be limited or stick to one genre. I want to do what we feel like doing when we feel like doing it. Mm -hmm. um, and then, of course, always leave in the comments what you guys want to hear. Um, what you really liked, what you didn't like, what hits, what doesn't, you know, tell us. You know, I know uh, Killian over here likes to switch it up every once in a while. Um, I do too. We we can't just focus on one thing. It's got to be different things. Um, you do the same thing over and over again, you'll end up in a staircase. Thanks for joining us on Normal Talk. Don't forget to leave a like, share, comment, and subscribe. We'll be back at you with another episode soon. Thank you.